I've gotten a question a couple of times in the last few days. Should I get a mini pig? Not I being me, since I already have two, but I being the people messaging me, uh, wanting life advice for whether or not they should endanger their home and their marriage by getting this pig. Now, I am the biggest fan of pigs in the world, and I was definitely okay with risking my marriage in my house for one. So should you get a mini pig? No. Now, let me put the caveat in there. No, unless. So, so I react to pigs the same way most people react to dogs. People see dogs and they just get all mushy and their brain shuts off and they're all about them. Dogs have never done anything for me because I think there's something fundamentally wrong in my brain. Like, I know dogs have co-evolved with us to, like, serve us and just generally love us without inhibition. Yeah, it's always like, meh, whatever, take it or leave it. But pigs, I have always been all about pigs. I was born on a pig farm. I used to chase around little pigs, and then we left the farm, and it was like my lifelong quest to get one. So I knew if I got a pig, if I schemed and found some way to get one past my wife, I would never get rid of it. But I feel like maybe a lot of people who are looking at pigs are, aren't really in it for the long haul. Because these things, they live for 20 years. I mean, it's a substantial investment. And people, what they do is they see a pig like this, which, let's admit, is the cutest thing in the world. This is Luna. She's adorable. I should just stop the video right here and everybody will buy a mini pig. Uh, but they don't stay like this. Uh, let me show you my other pig. I'm going to try to film this myself because my wife has far, far better things to do than help with this. But one of the shots you never see of my pig is her standing next to me because I always am the one holding the camera and looking down at her and you have no idea how big she really is. Sometimes she looks gigantic if she's slightly closer to the camera, sometimes she looks tiny if she's far away. People on the internet don't understand perspective. I don't understand perspective. I don't even know if you can hear me this far away from the camera, but I'm gonna try to get her and me in the same shot. Let's see if this works. Hey, Gilly, Gilly, look what I got. Gilly pig, Gilly pig. Look at this. Gilly pig. Look at that. Come here. Come here, right here. Right here, right here. Yeah. Well, as you can see, she comes up to about my... <laughs> Chase her away. Don't you want the corn? She comes up to about my knees. She's eating the corn. No, 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 it's corn. I think Luna wants to sleep. Yeah. So she's not gigantic. A full-size pig would be up to here, you know, and way out to the... Oh, are you not going to stay in the shot, you pig? Okay, well, you caught a brief glimpse of her. Now what I'm going to do is pick her up. Uh, well, she's going to get really mad. She's going to squeal like she's dying. Don't worry, she's not actually in pain. Pigs just don't like to fly. So let me go give this a try. Cover your ears. Run away outside. Daddy. You're fine. Let's go. mini pig looks like when they're big. <laughs> this is what they sound like too. She's not very happy with me. That's okay. I still love you. Okay, just for reference, I'm 6'2". Uh, I would estimate Gilly's 60 pounds somewhere in there. I mean, she's heavy to lift up, but not impossible. To be honest, I've never gone through the trouble of standing on a scale than standing it on the scale with her because, you know, that's a lot of work, there'd be a lot of screaming, and also it's super depressing to see those numbers, because I really don't want to know how much I weigh. My clothes have enough trouble fitting the way it is. Let's just leave it at that, okay? I'm not going to fat shame my pig. So, so nobody has ever looked at Gilly in her full-grown state and been like, boy, I want one of those. But all the time, people look at poor little Luna here and say, oh, I want that adorable little pig. And you just have to remember that this is a very temporary state. And mammals are designed like that for a reason. I mean, it's why why parents look, or, you know, potential parents look at somebody else's baby and they go, oh my gosh, we got to have a baby. Like, nobody looks at somebody else's acne-covered, angsty teenager and be like, boy, I want one of those. Like, unless you're a creepy teacher, and that's a whole different story. But as far as parents go, actually having a child, the driving force is usually that cute baby, because that's how they sucker you in. You fall in love with them when they're a cute baby, and then they become awful. I'm sorry, Luna. <laughs> I'm sorry. Then they become awful, you know, uh, toddlers and awful elementary school kids and awful teenagers. By then, you're already committed, and it's too late. Am I disturbing you with my loud voice? you got to stay here. You're the only thing people want to see. They don't want to see my face. They just want to see you. Um... But pigs are, are a lot different than dogs, and that's what they get compared to a lot. And, they, and they're similar in intelligence. I think they're probably a little bit smarter than dogs, but their motivation is different. Again, uh, dogs have been selectively bred to serve people and to have our interests at heart. Pigs look out for pigs. I mean, they're really smart, and they, and they, they coexist with us. 
Uh, but ultimately, if it comes down to it, that pig is looking out for itself. So you can train them to do things, but like if there's food on the ground, they will not stop for you to, to like, you know, let you pick up that food or something. They are going for that food. So to pig proof our house, you know, it, it's not that different than pig proofing for a dog, just a little more extreme, like our, our garbage bag. Um, Gilly would tip over the trash can all the time. And so we stuck it in a corner so she couldn't tip it over so easily. Then she'd grab a corner of the trash bag and pull it down. So we had to tuck that in. And then she found a way to knock it over still. So we put weights in the bottom of it. I mean, we had to go through these extremes because we have a mini bulldozer in our house that can smell food through anything. We have to make sure that when people come over to our house, they don't leave purses on the ground. Because you have gum or anything else that smells interesting, she will go through that purse without inhibitions. She will not respect your privacy. Uh, we stopped using tablecloths because she was smart enough that she realized there was food up on top of the table and she wasn't tall enough to reach it she would grab the tablecloth and pull it down and pull the food down to her she once almost got an entire cake she was so proud of herself i stopped her just in the nick of time so these are the things you have to think about and again there are dogs that will do these things sometimes uh, but i feel like you can maybe train a dog not to do it maybe not but the pig will always do it no matter how well trained they are you can also train a pig to walk on a leash but you got to do it early and you got to be committed to it because one thing that dogs or that pigs do that dogs don't is they squeal and a squeal is very different than a bark. When your dog is barking, it sounds like it's defending you or doing its job. When a pig squeals, it sounds like you're murdering it. You will sound like an awful person and your neighbors will notice. So when Gilly was about this size, it was also winter like it is now, and uh, we took her out some to train her to walk on a leash. But I'll be honest, I'm not used to walking things. We don't walk our dog. We've got a big enough house, and we've got a yard that he can go in and out to through the doggy door that he runs around all day. He gets exercise. I don't want exercise. I don't walk the dog. Call me a horrible person, whatever. That dog is perfectly happy. So we really don't have it built into our lifestyle to go walking animals. So when Gilly was older, we tried, tried to start walking her again, and she was not having it. And again, I believe we could have powered through and taught her to walk on that leash. But what that would involve is dragging a 60-pound brick of pork around the block as she squeals like she's dying and all the neighbors look out their windows at what's happening. Yeah, I know. That's pretty traumatic. Oh, by the way, Luna grinds her teeth. She's got a little bit of an overbite. Her teeth kind of stick out front. She grinds them. I don't think there really is a pig dentist, so it is what it is. Pigs go through many, many sets of teeth, so I don't think it's a big deal. If it is, just pretend I didn't say any of that and assume I'm a good pig owner. Uh, so you've, you've got to take these things into account. Uh, pigs also shed. Not as much as dogs that shed all the time, uh, but more than our dog. Our dog is mixed with, uh, with a Yorkie or something that makes, makes our dog not shed at all. So Gilly twice a year loses all her hair. I'm sorry, I'm upsetting you. I know, I'm talking about all the bad things about pigs. Oh, I'm bad-mouthing you. I still love you. It's okay. I will not get rid of you for anything. Uh, but they, they, they do shed, and their hair is pretty coarse. It's not, it's not soft like a dog. So these are, these are all things to take into account. But probably the biggest thing to take into account is you can have a house pig like I do, but you still have to have a yard. Like I think there are people out there who have dogs in their apartments, and they just put them in a crate during the day, and they make sure to walk them six times, and that's okay. You can't do that with a pig because pigs, that even if you have a pig that's trained to walk on a leash, they're going to want to be outside more than just to poop because they like to dig around. Like if your top priority is your yard, if you're in a subdivision where your neighbors are going to judge you if a great blade of grass is out of place, you should not get a pig. And in fact, you probably can't get a pig anyway because homeowners associations are the worst and they hate pigs. Live someplace else. Uh, about twice a year, dig Gilly will dig huge holes in the yard for no reason. She did it the most the first year because her pig brain told her she needed to build a mud wallow and she didn't understand that we had air conditioning in the house. When she realized what air conditioning was, her digging went way down. But she will still tear it up from time to time, if not with her nose, then with her feet. She's got these tiny little feet, like kind of like Luna here. Yeah, hold on, I gotta show them your feet. I gotta show them your feet! <laughs> hold on, look at those feet. Yeah. They're itty bitty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this has been a traumatic video for you. Uh, you can see those little feet, all their weight goes down on them and they punch through the dirt. So pigs are actually very clean. They poop in the corners. I, I step on dog poop all the time because my stupid dog just poops wherever I walk. The pigs poop in corners, they're clean. And they don't usually roll around in mud unless they're hot. Since we have air conditioning, they don't roll in mud at all. But if the yard turns to mud, just because of the time of season or whatever, those little feet punch through the mud and they track it in. You've got to be aware of that. And because they like to root around, even if they're not necessarily breaking the surface of the dirt, you have to have a yard for them to do that in. Because if they're not rooting around in your grass, they're going to root around in your carpet and you're going to hate having a pig because they're going to tear up everything. I would rather she be out there tearing up leaves and sticks and grass than in here. So we have a doggy door. When she feels like tearing things up, for the most part, she goes outside and she does that, gets it out of her system, and then comes back in and tears up less stuff in here. 
If you get a pig and you only have them inside, it's not going to work and they're going to end up at an animal rescue. Uh, and that's the other thing. There are rescue pigs. We've never gotten a rescue pig. I know some people are all about rescue animals. We really couldn't because, again, you train pigs from the start. We need a pig this size so she's used to being manhandled and lifted up on camera and loved on by four little girls all the time. We couldn't get a big surly adult pig that already flunked out of one house and try to bring it into this house with four little kids that are going to just have their hands over her all day. We, we couldn't do that. Uh, and I, I worry about pigs because pigs are pretty stubborn. You can train them. You can break them of habits. But you have to remember as they do that, as you do that, they're going to be doing their murder squeal, which makes them not the best of the animals to adopt. And sometimes people with farms will adopt them and they'll keep them outside all the time, which again isn't the best life for them anyway. I mean, it's better than livestock where they get eaten. Uh, but really, I think the indoor-outdoor mix like we have it where they're inside part of the time and outside the rest of the time uh, is the best. So they can, they can do their business outside, they can be bad outside, then they can come inside. Uh, so that, that's the mix. So basically, if you're not willing to put up with all of that, you should not get a pig. If you only want a pig when they're this size and not when they're gilly size, you shouldn't get a pig. But if you're willing to do all of that, if you're willing to keep, get the big ugly pig for 20 years and only have the cute little pig for six months, then by all means, get a pig. Just make sure you have a yard and make sure you're in it for the long haul. Here's one final shot of the pig. <laughs> Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Yeah, you're fine. All right. Talk to you later. Oh, and please hit that subscribe button. I have so, so much more pig content coming your way. You do not want to miss out. Bye.